Hey guys. Wow, it's lunchtime again. You know, I was talking with a, uh, a new client of ours that's, that's been doing business in Tallahassee for more than 40 years. And they're doing some amazing things. Um, and, and they've spent a lot of time and resources really honing in on their day-to-day -day internal processes. And it's, it's really allowed them to create some efficiencies and, and really make some, some meaningful connections in the community. But, you know, they, they share with me, Michael, we're, we're really struggling because, you know, we're so successful in this one area, but we just, we can't continue to be complacent and rely upon the successes of the past. And I thought, gosh, that's so true. I mean, it, it, it's so many times, I think, uh, as a business owner myself um, and, and working with other clients, I see that we do get caught up in the day-to-day -day operations, the dirt, if you will, and, and our hands are in the dirt and we're getting our fingernails dirty and, and we're really diving deep into, into how to do it the best, the most effective. Um, but what ends up happening, I feel like, and I know this from a personal level, is that we find ourselves so entrenched in the dirt that we're missing what's happening around us. And so, you know, I thought about this idea and, and again, you know, thank you, uh, Gary V for just your incredible in inspiration every day. Um, you know, he, he really came up with this concept of, of, of dirt and clouds and man, I just gravitate and really get a hold of that because I can really sink my teeth into it. And, and I feel like what happens is, we don't have an opportunity or, or we're so busy with the day-to-day -day operations that we don't think about going up, changing our perspective and looking at our company and looking at the ancillary services and products and other vendors that we work with. And there's a ton of new potential. There's a ton of new opportunities for business growth um, and for new client uh, acquisition if we could only take a minute and, and rise above and kind of look at our company from a, a different perspective. You know, I think about Amazon and, you know, man, I wish I would have invested in Amazon like a decade ago for a buck or whatever, like, wow. <laughs> but, you know, that's just a, another example of here's a company that, you know, delivers incredible products, has incredible service, and yet they're, you know, tooling around with this whole voice activated device. Like, but it's crazy. I have an Alexa in my kitchen. I have Alexa note in the living room, um, you know, and, and I'm constantly exploring what, what those devices can do and how they can simplify my life. And so a company like Amazon didn't sit back and just wait and, and, and rely upon the successes that they've had over the years. They, they're thinking about the future and they're thinking about potential growth. You know, I wouldn't be surprised that it's interesting that uh, one of the biggest Google AdWord budget spenders um, recently uh, this year really pulled back hugely. Guess who that was? Amazon. Why are they doing that? Do they sense that something is changing? I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine that, that Google as a search engine would take a hit or that we would no longer rely upon it. I mean, that's crazy to think about that that would be the case. But, you know, it's no different than your company sitting back and thinking, well, there's no way that this could happen. And, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, sitting down and doing a simple SWOT analysis of your strengths, your weaknesses, and your opportunities and your threats. It's such a huge tool. I mean, it sh you should, as a company, you should do it about every two years. And that was one of the things we've, you know, when we, when we met with our client, we're like, when was the last time you did that? And they all looked around because they've all been for the company for, you know, 10 or 15 years. And they're like, wow, we haven't done one in a while. And I think that that, again, goes back to the idea of the dirt and the clouds. We get so in, entrenched and, in, and involved in 
the day-to-day operation uh, operations because it's the pressing. It's what do we got to do right now? We've got to respond to this email. We've got to respond to this call. We've got to, you know, make sure that this project is on time. You know, we have to go through and we have to check the boxes and we have to get the the day-to-day stuff done. Um, but spending that time to think about and, and look from a different perspective is huge. It could really do um, your company and, and, and other companies and my company a great service. So, I mean, that's the thing I was thinking about today. I was like, gosh, you know, what, what, what would happen if, you know, we started searching just by asking, we walk into a room and say, you know, Alexa, uh, what's for dinner? Or, you know, um, you know, and we, and we start activating these voice searches and then the search results come back uh, in an audible sense. That's not crazy. Like that's happening right now. I mean, look at, look at, uh, look at some of the commercials right now. You see those Amazon connected things to the refrigerators where it's literally a swipe and something happens. It's like, Alexa, order me some new Tide Pods. Not that I'm going to feed it to my teenage kids. No, that's not what we're doing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's I, I think that that is just a great example. Another one is Publix delivery. Are you kidding me? How fantastic is that? Like, okay, I get it's a surcharge and it's an extra fee, but you know what? I think more and more we as a society, we're, we're paying for speed. We're paying for convenience. Um, I remember some, uh, hearing a speaker the other day that, that was telling about how um, grocery items and convenience stores are going through the roof and how big block stores are, are seeing a, 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 are re- realizing an impact, um, a decline in sales. This is about convenience. If I can go down to the Circle K and pick up a gallon of milk instead of driving to the grocery store, I'll do it, especially if they, if they have you know, whole milk and, and, you know, especially if they've got a, you know, green, not green wise, obviously that's Publix brand, but if they've got a, you know, a, a version of that, that's, that's, you know, not all pumped up with hormones, but you get the point is that more and more we are talking about speed and convenience. So that's just, you know, again, sort of my, my example of, of here's a, here's a company Publix that's like, you know, they provide great service. They're so friendly and they're so helpful. Um, but yet they're not going to sit back and just rely on what's happened in the past to be their success. I mean, here's a great example of a company that did that. And now are, where are they? You know, hello, Kodak, right? I mean, they were the hugest film industry, you know, camera producing, film producing companies, where are they now? They got crushed. You know, I don't think they spent enough time in the clouds. They spent a lot of time in the dirt. So what does it look like for you? I mean, what does it look like for your company? Have you guys, have you sat down with your team and talked about and mapped out what does the next 12 months, what does the next 24 months look like? Where, where are the gaps? You know, Could we provide, you know, more efficient services or could we collaborate and partner with this other company and and form a a strategic alliance to do things um, to provide an even more enhanced delivery of our services and products? You know, I I think that's really the the advantage of changing your perspective when you go into the cloud and you look down instead of just looking down at the ground and at the dirt and at all the problems that are happening. Um, because when we have that opportunity to kind of step back and, and, and take that 30,000 foot view and look at all the different moving pieces that are happening around us and where the market is moving, where the trends are going and what are the behaviors of society and, and, and what are our needs? I think we start to see some, some different patterns happening. Businesses who are smart and who are going to survive and thrive in the future are going to spend some time in the clouds and they'll not neglect the dirt. So it's a balance of, of, of staying in the dirt and staying in the clouds so that you have that balanced approach. So that's my thoughts today. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. It's, it's just something again, you know, Gary, the, 
did a whole talk about that and he mentioned that and man, it is just like stuck inside me. Like I can't get away from it, you know? Um, which is great because as a marketer and as a, as a web designer and as a you know, digital marketer, I help, I help bring those ideas and thoughts to my clients. And I'm, you know, put up the ideas of, you know, Hey, have you thought about connecting this or connecting that? You know, how can we grow your business from where it's at to where you'd like it to be? Well, let's think about sort of some of these ancillary services and products or other vendors that you're working with and create those collaborative service and product offerings that can really make a change in your business. Hey guys, uh, I hope you had a great lunch. Uh, I'm going to go grab a salad and keep on kicking it today. I'm going for a, for the hat trick. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.